mom. I'm doing all right. My narcolepsy has been fine. No, I haven't been sleeping on the floor. I'm fine. Things have been good. Really good. No, I have a job, remember? Okay, yeah, I'm just a temp, but isn't every job temporary? If you work anywhere long enough, I mean, everyone's just a temp in the end, right? We're temporary beings is what I'm getting at. We all die eventually. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be so dark. Yes, I'm still a temp. That's why I called. Look at the little tomato today. So some support would be nice. Wait a second, Mom, hold on. What are you guys doing? Oh, hey, dude. Just doing some day trading. And why are you doing it up here in the living room and not downstairs in your own bedroom? Well, we rented out our rooms for the night. It's the sharing economy, you know. Sharing is caring, Wyatt. Thank you, Barrett. What happened to the flat screen? Yeah, we rented that out, too. TV. It's gonna rot your brain, Wyatt. Oh, okay. So who'd you rent your rooms out to anyway? Oh, hey, look, there's one of them right there. Hey, are you guys gonna eat this? Oh, hey, dude. Hi. Hey, is that the gordita? Not the gordita. I'm sorry, Mom, what were you saying again? Nothing. Fine, Mom. I'm staying awake. So how's Dad? No, please don't put him on the phone. Hi, Dad. I'm not quitting, I'm just asking for a promotion. Yeah, I know, but I'm talking about my career here, now. Whatever. Okay, I'll move home. If I don't get the job, but I'm gonna get it. Look, I gotta go. I'll, I'll talk to you two later, okay? Okay, ending global hunger, charities, where's the new stuff we were talking about? Well, on the top there, there's an article about endangered tortoises. Endangered tortoises, nice. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Who gives a uh, flying fuck about endangered tortoises? Okay, you know what we publish here. Things like homelessness, drugs, shameful deviant sex acts, raw human emotion, with an emphasis on tragedy. But I, I can do that stuff too. Listen, bring me something good for the website and I'll consider it, okay? Until then, I gotta keep you where you're at. Thanks. Or, you know, you could consider uh, a different route, maybe a job in tech. I just, you might not be cut out for being a journalist, bud. Are you, 
Are you meditating? Wyatt, wait, are you okay? You need me to call you an ambulance? No, no, I don't need an ambulance. I just, I have narcolepsy. Mild narcolepsy. It's not a big deal. You have fucking narcolepsy and you didn't think that that would be something pertinent to tell us? Fucking hell, man. Jesus Christ. Look, I'm sorry it happened. I'm sorry, I was just... I just fucking fell asleep in your office. You fall over, you crack your fucking head. I've got a lawsuit on my hands. I don't want a lawsuit on my hands. Next time you're in my office, you fucking wear a helmet. Hey man, what's up? Hey man, no one told me they were having a party tonight. Yeah, it's just something bare put together. Super low key. Sounds like it. So, uh, how'd it go today? <sighs> Still a 10. That is so unjust, man. I think it's time for me to pack up and go home. Stepping stones, man, stepping stones. Hey, listen, dude, when I started my website, it was just me in a dream. And now I've got 10 people underneath me. Right, and uh, how much do you pay these people again? $3 an hour. But that is a really good rate in India. Microsoft, those cheap bastards, only paying 50 cents over there. $3, that's a lot, man. Your mother Teresa, Mahoney. Damn right I am. Hey, come upstairs for a while. Maybe you get drunk and mush it in something. Not very Teresa-like. I'm Sean Cross. Tonight on Slice News, Wayne Bradshaw takes you to the worst shooting gallery in the entire Western Hemisphere. Let's go to Wayne now. Wayne, are you there? We got junkies galore out here, Sean. They call this neighborhood the Haystack because there's needles everywhere. Watch your step. Here we go. We got a couple people ready to shoot up right now. Let's get a close up on that needle. Can you shoot up your. I want you to meet my friends. <laughs> this is Claire. And this is Stephanie. They're from New Zealand. They're staying with us for the week. Hi. Hey, how you doing? Baby bird! Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was so sick! Oh, pretty good. That's gonna be good! Okay. Yeah. Mom. 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 You know, I can't tell who lives here at this point. I feel like I'm living in a flop house. Hey, you read the search terms on the Craigslist ad. Kegs, 420 friendly, Bacchanalia, debauchery. Hey, have you ever noticed that hatchback over there? Yeah, I think it's been there for a few months. Some weird girl lives inside of it. Well, that's what you get when you have good street parking. It's like a beacon for transients. I wonder who she is. Listen, man, I think we need to collectively raise our standards as a household. We do not need another drifter in this house. You know what we publish here. Homelessness, drugs, raw human emotion, with an emphasis on tragedy.
You don't have to leave. That's it's, it's a great spot. That's why you knocked on my window to compliment my choice in parking. <laughs> well, you know me, right? You, I mean, you see me. I, I live right around a corner. More like neighbors. I guess I was just being neighborly. Okay. Hi, neighbor. I'm Wyatt. Fern. So what do you really want, Wyatt? I guess I just want to get to know you. I mean, like, what's a girl who doesn't seem like a drug addict? Living all the way from Montana, living in her 88 hatchback? Well, it's an 87, and I'm a total meth head. You got any? Um. Was I really that convincing? No. <laughs> no, of course not. Um. You want a car woman present? Oh, because at the very least, I must be an alcoholic, right? No, obviously not. We're that living not in her what car. There's got to be something wrong with her. You know, this was stupid. I'm really sorry and embarrassed, so I'm gonna leave you. You have a, you have a good night. Wait, don't go. I mean, I don't wanna get arrested for soliciting a prostitute, so. Just get in. You, you want me to get inside there? Yeah. Come on, give me that. This isn't so bad, actually. <laughs> Why here? A lot of people park on this block. Is that red truck back there? This, like, construction worker parks there every day. He leaves on the weekends, probably to go back see his wife and kids. And that little white car right there? This old woman named Margaret lives there. She's from Vermont. So basically like any car with shades on? Yeah, or else it'll steam up from your breath and cops look for steam. Where do you shower? Who says that I do? You smell like hen shoulders. The YWCA. Do you like always let strangers into your car? No, but... When I read your articles, I knew you were harmless. You stole my stuff? You threw it in the trash. <laughs> I mean, what kind of guy who writes about pet adoptions and county fairs would hurt me? Besides, I need something to do while I'm sitting here all night. Well, I guess it could make good toilet paper. I don't have a toilet. Pretty good stuff in here. Like, this one about tortoises? Yeah, I know, I wrote about tortoises. No, seriously. I mean, they've been adapting to the desert for eons and then we just come through with our strip malls and gas stations and just pave right over their homes. It's so sad. Yeah, it is. That's why I wrote it. Too bad no one gives a shit, I guess. Well, I give a shit. I give lots of shits. I mean... <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> Why are you here? I, um... I work for this company uh, called Slice. Uh, it's um, not working out so well, though, so... I think I'm just probably gonna go home. The shitty clickbait company? Yep. Your stuff's better than that. <laughs> <laughs> Who's he? No one. I mean, he's like everywhere on your car. Can you take the hint that I don't want to talk about it? Sorry, I was just trying to be friendly. He's my dad, all right? Did they ever find him? No, assumed dead since I was nine. Then I got this a few months ago. Do 
Dear Fern, your father needs your help. He's in Los Angeles. Sincerely, Dr. Green. Dr. Green? Some street guy. I've searched the shelters and databases, but can't find him. If you need to, you can stay on our couch. We have surfers all the time. I don't surf on couches. We have a shower and a toilet. I'm fine on my own. I don't know what to say. I just want to do something. Thanks, Wyatt. Hey, wake up. <clears throat> oh my god. Sorry, I guess I overstay my welcome. I deserve it for getting drunk with a stranger. What about you? You just slept in a weird girl's car. You should really think about that, Wyatt. Okay. I'm kind of kidding. But kind of not. You want to come inside and I'll make you breakfast? I don't belong in your world. Well, maybe you should give me your number in case you need anything. I don't have a phone. Well, then maybe I can friend you on. Not on it. The internet's terrifying. I've got laundry to do, and then I have work, so... Work? Yeah. I work at the thrift store. Where do you think I get all these cool rags? Well, it was nice talking. It was... decent. So did you have a good time last night? Yeah, actually. I met a really interesting girl. Oh yeah? Yeah, the one in the hatchback. <gasps> I stayed in her car that night too. Oh no, really? Yep. Dude, that's classic. That's almost as good as the time that Barrett banged that chick with one breast implant. I actually did not like that. We just talked. What? Yeah. I think I'm gonna help her find her dad. Huh? I think I'm gonna write an article about it for Slice. I think it might get some clicks. And she's into that? I'm gonna change her name. She's not probably gonna read it, so. Sounds like you got it all figured out, man. <gasps> Dude, nice wheelie, by the way. Thanks. So Barrett really slept with a girl who only has one breast implant? Yeah. We called her Silly Consolo. He would just put the deflated breast to the side and he would just work up on the good one. You know, the funny thing about that story is that when she finally got an implant put on the other side, she stopped answering his calls. Well, that's his Barrett right. I mean, after all, he really is a one-breast caliber kind of guy. Uh, excuse me? Would you, um, would you happen to know anybody by the name of Dr. Green? Yo, come on, man, scoot over, wake up, come on. My dogs are barking. Sorry. You know they're giving out free meals down there at the church. You should get yourself one. I don't suppose you would know anybody named Dr. Green? I see. Green, 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 green. Oh, you mean Dr. Gangreen? Yeah, I know her. Her? Mm -hmm. She lives up under Chapalbara. He's a real doctor, you know. 
Why do you call her gangrene? Because she's got gangrene on her foot. Well, then I guess she must not have been a very good doctor, huh? She amputated it herself. She's re she's real smart. Look, this is, this is really helpful. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Just don't call her that to her face, all right? I found her. You'll have to excuse me. I'm being hypnotized by this machine. Far out. But on a cooler note, Dr. Green, I found her. Did you say her? Yeah. Didn't you do your laundry last week? Hey, I'm always doing laundry. Come on, let's go. Wait, what, 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 about, your, what about your clothes? I guess this is it. I hope she's not a bridge troll. Dr. Green, are you in there? Maybe she's not home. Hello, Dr. Green? Dr. Gangrene? Who is it? Who is it? Um, it's Wyatt. I... Who are you, Transportation Authority? Huh? No, no, we're no. not. Who told you to call me Gangrene? It was your, it was your friend, the old guy. I'm not friends with the old guy. I am not. We're not taking you back to a shelter. We're, we're not going to hurt you, please. I'm just looking for my dad. Simon. Yeah, I sent you the letter. Oh my God. Hello, Dr. Green. It's so nice to meet you. Likewise. Can you let my friend go now? Please. <sighs> Dr. Green. Okay. Why? Pleasure. Sit! 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 It's dirty, it's filthy, I know, but it's it's just I'm not expecting any company. Just sit, sit, sit. It's it's just a miracle that you're here. Why did you send it? Well, honey, he told me to. You know, you're all he talks about. I think he thought maybe it might be better if it came from some kind of a neutral party, you know? You see this? He built that for me. I met him under this bridge. He should have sent it himself. Well, honey, he's sick. He's always been sick. See that behind you there? Now, he said he carved that for me. But that's not my face, right? That's your face. It's not me. He always used to carve things like this. He's got cancer for her. What? Doesn't want to go to a hospital. He's going to let it finish him. That's why I wrote you the note. When was the last time you saw him? About two weeks ago, I guess. There's a place called Murphy's Ranch. It's one of his favorite spots. It's up in Topanga. Are you two at all? A sweet boy. That's a hard man to hang on to. Maybe I was better off without him. Now, if you believe that, you wouldn't have gotten in your car and come all the way down here now, would you, huh? 
You have to see your father. He should see you again. He should see what a lovely young lady you've become. It was nice meeting you, Dr. Green. Mm -hmm. No, you don't have to go yet. Yeah? We can't waste any more time. Well, listen, kids, you need anything. You need anything at all. Oh, I can't believe you're here. I just can't believe it. If you need anything, you call me. You come right here. You come right here. Thanks. Okay? You have any questions? Thanks. You know where to find me. Okay. Hey, do you really have a PhD? Berkeley, 71, philosophy. Be careful of her. She's like her papa. Gotta say, your dad has great taste in getaway locations. He must love it here. Was he, um, decent when he was around? Yeah, from what I remember. I mean, sometimes I'd look into his eyes and he just wasn't there. My grandparents said the last time they saw him, he was slow dancing with a Barbie doll in the living room. Well, maybe they ran away together and started a family. That'd be nice. Are you scared? I'm always scared. No, don't don't do that. Fern. I think so. Fern, seriously? Yeah. Fern. Whoa, it's so cool in here. Hey, you should come in here. No, I'm not really a derelict structure kind of guy. He's here. He's he's in there. Garbage? No, it's sardines. They were his favorite. Those would be anybody's. You know that, right? No, it's his brand, Beach Cliff. It's, it's here. He's definitely here. Come on, we have to go find him. Okay. Come on. Dad has a brand of sardines. medical bracelet with his name on it, Lindblade. Wait, I've read about that place. It's a psych ward downtown. What is this place? Why can't we get in? Maybe he's here. God damn it. I'm just 
want him to be real. I promise you, real. What just happened? Is this a joke? Wyatt. Wyatt. Are you okay? Wyatt. What the fuck was that? I fell asleep. Wow. That boring, huh? Narcolepsy. Seriously? Why didn't you tell me? You just scared the crap out I of me. I thought I had a handle on it. Jesus. It only happens when I get emotionally triggered. How do you drive? I don't know. I try to stay calm, listen to smooth jazz, avoid road rage. You know, when I was a kid, in like school, all the students would just try to get me so riled up and angry so I'd pass out and then wake up with a bunch of marker drawings on my face. Oh, that's so terrible. I know. Wait, does this mean that you're gonna fall asleep every time we kiss? I guess we'll just have to find out. You look alert. Ah! Oh, Jesus! Oh. Sorry, I thought you were park rangers. We didn't see anything. We're not gonna tell anybody. What do you think I'm doing? Do you, do you think I'm making meth? <laughs> ah, damn it! I'm tired of people thinking that just because the way I look. What? What about me says I'm making meth? It's not what I'm making. What are you? Making then? Making angel dust, PCP. It's not meth. It's gross. You know? It's not a big deal. You gotta make something. It's hard to get a job out there for a felon. We understand. Yeah, no, we're not judging you at all. Thank you. Actually, that. You actually don't even know how much that means. I need to hear that sometimes. You're welcome. Do you wanna buy some? Do you know a guy named Simon who lives out here sometimes? Yeah, I know him. I haven't seen him in a few weeks, though. If you do see him, that bastard owes me money. This homeless powder isn't free. He does PCP? <laughs> he dabbles. He just tried the Star Hotel downtown. He's usually there with the other degenerates. Thanks. Hey. You're not gonna tell anyone about me, are you? We have no idea where we are right now, so that would be impossible. I totally trust you guys to keep my clandestine drug lab a secret. Really? No. Hey, wait! I was kidding! I was just, I'm, it's lonely out here, man! By the way, Ren's due tomorrow. Oh, dude, I didn't tell you. What? My uncle died. Barrett, um, I'm sorry, I don't know what to say. I... No, it's great, man. I inherited 20K, man. That's $20,000. So I was planning, not next week, but the week after to do like a work search and try to find a job. Not happening now, dude. Well, in that case, I guess congratulations. My uncle's gone. Nice to meet you, sir. Hey. Don't say sir, say bro. You haven't met Farid yet? No, I have not. Yeah, he just got in from Delhi. It's one of my employees over there. Nice to meet you, bro. Ooh, you gotta let those cool down, dude. They are very hot. So anyway, uh, kinda have Fern coming over. Cool, the homeless chick, right? Let's not call her that ever again, if you don't mind. And if it's at all possible for you guys maybe to like, I don't know, clear out or not. <sighs> Come in. Okay. 
guys. This is Fern. Hi. Hi. These are my roommates. I'm Barrett. How do you do? It's nice to finally meet you. Hello. We've heard so much about you. So you know why I'm here then? I think you're going to dinner, right? To save your souls from the coming apocalypse. What? The government's watching us right now. CIA, NSA, FBI, Homeland Security. Everybody knows that. It was on 60 Minutes. No, seriously. We've got this whole place bugged. They're all working together to orchestrate this one. The end of humanity. We must go underground. They're listening to us right now, I promise. We have to fight back. Really, bro? Really, bro. We have to fight the bastards. You have to help yourself. You know the truth. You can see it in your eyes. Fern. Get to work, there's a reservation yeah. maybe just, just calm down. Just, just be Fern. Fern. I mean, look at me, look at me, Fern. Listen to me, Fern, you hear me? Fern, Fern, look at me, please. Look, look at me, Fern, you hear me? You hear me, Fern, are you there? Oh my <laughs> God, that's... You are cert... <laughs> You're certifiably insane. Come on, let's go to dinner. I gotta say, your level of commitment is really commendable. Because I'm just not great with first impressions. You know they're never gonna let you come back. That was my intention. <laughs> I'm sorry I couldn't take you to a restaurant. Don't worry about it, I live off of this stuff. I know what time every fast food breakfast ends. That's an admirable quality. Seriously, try me. Um, Burger King. 12 o'clock. Taco Bell. 11 o'clock. Arby's. Ugh, I'd rather skip breakfast. I thought vegetarians were like huge foodies. I can't afford to be a foodie. <laughs> yeah. Of course. I live in my car. Mm -hmm. I eat french fries. I guess you do make a point. Hey, but seriously though, that girl's mental. Honestly, probably was the best date I've ever gone on. Date? Chill with a girl. Either way, it was amazing. Whoa, dude, where'd you learn that? Saw it online. So guess what? What? I finished the article, and Slice is gonna put it on the website. No shit. Hey, congrats, dude. Yeah, it's a good thing we got going. For you and her, or you and the job? Both? Hey, I think our form is looking pretty good. Yeah? I think we're ready. Okay, let's, let's go. do it. So, uh, what happens after she finds Daddy-O? I don't know. I guess it's played by ear. Shit! Oh, no. Oh. I think we need wetsuits. Another day. Another day. Thanks, I appreciate it. Um, I'm just curious why you changed the title, though. I never said I slept with Oh, her. buddy, it's clickbait. And you know what? It's fucking working, because people are clicking, okay? You're not gonna believe it. It's the top link on the site. People are sharing it. They wanna know what's gonna happen. Listen, I can't wait for the next installment. The readers can't wait for the next installment. Take the rest of the month off and finish the story.
Hello? Must have been a really classy hotel. Do you really think your dad would live in here? I don't know. Probably. It's over here. Hello? Anybody up here? If you are, don't jump out and surprise us, Jess. Say hello. The more we hang out, the more my life has started to look like a horror film. You're welcome. Wanna take a bubble bath? Go for it. Hey, look. Look at this. Tim, all right. Lynn Blade Asylum. Diagnosis bipolar disorder with schizoid tendencies and suicidal ideation. Jesus, Dad, what don't you have? You look surprised. It's weird seeing it written out officially like this. They used the electric shock. Jesus, they'll do that? Let's run. Let's get out of here. Which way is out? I don't know. This way. Ah! Oh my God. You okay? Ow. Looks like it hurts. Ah. When you do that. Sorry. Ow. Okay. I'm gonna wrap it up. It's like very bruised. <laughs> Oops. Is that okay? Yeah. Good as new. Thanks. Yeah. What are the illustrations all about? I don't know, just things I imagine while I'm lying here at night. Can I have this one? Do you like Dick Nose Fern? Yeah, I think she's beautiful. <laughs> she is all yours. Hey guys. What's up? Have a seat, buddy. Okay. What is this, like some sort of family meeting? No. Listen, I just. It's an intervention, Wyatt. Intervention. I'm gonna begin by reading my letter, but before I do, I want you to know everyone in this room loves you very much. Dear Wyatt, you've been a really great friend of mine for a long time. I miss you, buddy. Shut up, Barrett. Ever since you met that homeless chick, you've put us on the back burner. Now all you do is you trample around the city on all these little adventures. I mean, what about us, man? I Gotta get help, Wyatt. Beautiful. Does anyone wanna maybe tell me what the fuck is going on right now? I've done some research on Fern. What? Why? She's not who she says she is. She's making it all up. She's a faker, bro. Fareed, what? You too? 
That's right, Fareed. She's a Charlton dude. That's not... Yeah, she's like a gypsy. She's after something. I mean, it's clear. I mean... No, fuck it. That, that guy that you've been trying to find? Well, it can't be her dad, okay? She's from Arizona. And, dude... She's married. Please. That's bullshit. It's all online. What's he talking about? She doesn't even have a fucking internet connection, let alone a cell phone. We... Fern Montgomery from Scottsdale. She's running away from her old life, man. Don't kill the messenger, bro. Fucking A, Fareed. Sorry, I'm just trying to help. Hey, where are you going? Oh, excuse me. Would you take a dollar for this toaster oven? Oh, it's, it's three dollars. It has a, a great big dent in it, see, right there? Yeah, that's why it's three dollars. How about two dollars? I'm sorry, it's already only three dollars. How come you won't work with me? I come in here all the time, do you know that? All the proceeds go to charity, so. Why does this store suck so bad? Right. Well, um, it's three dollars. Let me know if you'd like to buy it. Thanks. So you heard about the toaster sale too? Sure, Mrs. Montgomery. That's not my name anymore. Hey, you shouldn't bring your domestic disputes into the workplace. Very unprofessional. Just take the dang toaster lady, okay? No, I don't want it anymore. <laughs> Look, I don't owe you anything, all right? You decided to help me, remember? Oh, no, I remember. I totally fell for the bait. I just want to know what the hell's going on. What is this all about, anyway? I mean, is... Is Simon even your real dad? Just leave me alone, Wyatt. Hey, where are you going? Hey, you can't leave! What about the store? Um... Honor system, everyone, okay? Just name your price and leave the money on the counter. I just... I just want you to be who I think you are. I like that person. I want her to be real. I'm sorry by the way I acted earlier. I was being a jerk. It doesn't matter. I didn't want you to think I was a bigger mess than I already am. My mom died three years after Simon disappeared. My godparents in Arizona adopted me. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. She liked pills. The hatchback was hers. I used to sleep in it at night in my godparents' driveway. Still had her scent back then. Are you married? 
Legally. Yeah. But not emotionally. I never really loved him much. Do you think he's out there looking for you? No. When I got Green's letter, I saw it as my chance to leave. Tomorrow, we'll go talk to Dr. Green. What's the use? Well, this is beyond you now. I'm invested in this. Well, that really sucks for you, Wyatt. Seriously, it does. Well, I guess I don't care. Maybe we'll see the green flash tonight. What's that? It happens when the sun goes down, right before it disappears. It's really rare, but I've seen it happen once. It's supposed to mean good luck. It only really happens in pollution anyway. Oh, hey! I was wondering what happened to you two. Did you find him? No. Well, no, the man likes to wander. Where is he? Really? What's going on with him? He's here. Stay there. There, you see? <laughs> I'm so sorry. This is him. This is all him. He's all here. It's mine. I shouldn't have been in there. show me these things earlier. You just dropped it by. You don't even bother to wake me up. You must know you're in town. Where's he going? You didn't find him at Murphy's Ranch. Shady Acres. He's gonna be at Shady Acres. Rehab? No, 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 no. It's a refuge. To get off the drugs you got him on? You can get your dad on drugs. I, mean, I might do a little smoky smoke, kiddo, but uh, your old man, man, he likes to self-medicate. And there's nothing he won't take. You don't mind me asking, why do they call you gangrene? <sighs> this is what happens when you cut your foot and you don't get it taken care of in time. What do you think? Is that making you happy? Your father carved that. He did such a good job, nobody knows I even have it. I can walk a couple of feet, you don't even tell. You don't have to cut your toenails anymore. No, but the termites, my dear, are a bitch. So do you know what you're gonna say to him when you see him? Not at all. How about we practice? I'll be Simon and you can be you. Okay. Hi, Farron. Hey, Dad. Didn't know you were a southerner now. Do you remember me? Ah, spent some time in the Ozarks. Oh. I did a lot of thinking back there. I. I thought about you. I understand if you don't want to forgive me. Yeah, I know, I get it. 
You're a pretty messed up dude. Guess I can't blame you for being the way you are. Maybe I'm the same way. I think you're the same. I mean, you think we're the same way? Guess we'll see. Mental illness comes out in your 20s. Did for you, right, Pops? That's my girl. Um, hello? What, my man? Yeah, Mom, do you mind if I just call you back later? Yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you soon, okay? Love you too. Bye. bye Why's your mom calling right now? Uh, she's just, uh, just emotional. Uh, she really wants me to move back. Well, are you going to? No. Why would I? I mean, are you... Where, where are you going to go anyway after we, we figure this all out? Hey, guys, come down. I got some drinks with their names on them. Come on. Let's go. Shall we? And you're with Barrett's girlfriend? Yes. In India, we don't even talk to a girl before we're married. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Hey, we need shots. Really? No, more shots. More shots, more shots, more shots! More shots? More. I don't more. know. Yes. Oh. Here, you get the big one, big guy. Great. My bestie best. Here we go. Thanks, Bessie. There you go, man. Hey. And, okay, we're gonna toast to friendships. <coughs> no more. Yeah, it's the spot. You can't. Um, yeah, guys, I gotta go make a phone call. No! Yeah, no, don't worry, I'll be back. I'll just... Don't go. Oh, go. This is our time, man. Don't, don't go on like... without me, okay? Okay. What a fuddy-duddy. I think I'm gonna go to sleep. Hey, that's oh. not... That's not the couch. Oh. Keep sucking on these teeth, why? You're making mama proud. <laughs> About that, I, uh, I was trying to cover. Ah, uh, you can call me mom, that's cool. You know, your, uh, your story's really interesting, by the way. Thanks. My mom left when I was little, too. Why I told you about my... Oh, was I not supposed to know? We need it by next week. No problem. I just... I don't know, I think I should tell her, honestly. Listen, think about what's important, okay? Your career or this girl? I know. I know. Mm. Ooh, Ooh. Okay. You no, know, it's it's pretty insane that you live in that car. Why do you say that? I mean, you're way too attractive for that. Mm. Thanks. I mean, you could totally pull off living in your car, though. <laughs> I concur. Look, why are you good? And we could really use like, a guy like you. You hear me in that? Of course, man. There's been talks about moving you up to full-time fucking staff writer. That's... That's amazing. I would re really like that. <laughs> so much body and volume. Look at that beautiful shine. Is that canteen? Yes, it is. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> is that head and shoulders? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> no, of course. I, I was doing one more for you guys. I had so I ever wanted. Then finish the job. Okay, no, um, I'm sorry. I'm just really drunk and, uh... Yeah, yeah, I am too. I am too. Yeah.
I just woke up. What happened last night? We got drunk. Well, I know you got drunk. You slept over. Yeah, I know. I don't even remember falling asleep. I found you on the floor. Yeah, it sounds like me. Mm. I need to eat. You want to go somewhere? No, I've got stuff to do. But I thought we were going to the ranch. Okay, what's up? Nothing. Are you angry at me? No, I, I, was, I just gotta go. Fern, wait. Should we be concerned about Farid? Fern was acting really weird this morning. Kind of left without saying goodbye. Well, she does have ovaries. Oh, fuck me. There's my champ. <laughs> Did anything strange happen last night after I left? No, we just talked. Just talked, huh? I was asleep, bro. I'm drunk as hell. What happened last night? We just made out for a second, and she backed away. I oh yeah, I'm no, sorry, no, 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 I, I, I got the story, man. I get it. No, no, I had a few drinks in me. I was getting a little wasted, hey. man. One thing led to another. Before you know, I got my hand around her. Yeah, I got it. I made a mistake. You know, I, I would expect this stuff from Barrett, what well, this being Scum Palace and all, but you? I thought it would help the story. How does that make any sense? You're way too invested in her. I mean, you said it yourself. This should be about business, not romance. Can't you see that? I want you to move out. You don't mean that. Why wouldn't I? We're geography friends. I only hang out with you because I live with you. If I met you on the street, if I just didn't even really know you, I would never hang out with you. I thought it wasn't about her, man. She doesn't even know about the articles yet, does she? I'm sorry that you had to witness that. I'm disappointed in the both of you. Yeah, me too. So you want to talk about Mahoney? I'm sorry. I shouldn't have. Do you like him? No, he's repugnant. So why did you do it then? I'm not on oil too. Could you just stop looking at your fucking car for a second and talk to me? You know what? Maybe I'm just not ready for this, okay? Why are you shutting down? Because that's what I do. You said to me, you, you said you were scared of happiness back in the woods because, because it, it ends eventually, right? Well, everything ends when you die, so what, does nothing matter? I can't believe you, Fern. Like, after everything that we've been through together, after everything I've done for you, you just... You just go behind my back. It was just overwhelming, okay? So I freaked out. I freaked out because, because I like you. I like you a lot. 
I just thought it would be a way out and I wouldn't have to be scared. I've had a lot of broken relationships in my life, Wyatt. I'm sorry. It didn't mean anything to me, okay? Just forget about it. Please. Honestly, I don't care anymore. Let's just, let's just go to the ranch. Let's find your dad. And we're so close. Thanks. You're a good person, Wyatt. No, I'm not. I'm not, actually. Fern, I, I should tell you, um... What? I... What is it? What? Wyatt? Wyatt. Just sleep. It's okay. Just sleep. Tell me right before you passed out. Oh, I don't remember. The place is so green. It does exist. I guess this is it. Dr. Green wasn't lying to us after all. Look, they have archery. Exciting. Stop the car. Stop the okay, car. Okay, okay. I knew it. Paint, too. Hey, I'm Wyatt. Nice to meet you, Wyatt. Yeah. And you must be fine. Yeah. Your father told me you'd come. Your likeness is all over this place. So, what do you guys do here? We provide help to anyone who needs it. Let me show you. Here we rehabilitate the mind, body, and soul. These are the main grounds. Some of the buildings are a little drab, but your father was commissioned to put a friendly face on them. See that mural right there? Mm -hmm. Your father painted that. Simon was an incredibly talented man. What do you mean, was? He used to talk about you like you were always in communication. What's with all the past tense? Fern, your dad passed four months ago. It 
is peaceful. And they sleep. I'm so sorry. I'll give you a moment. I'm sorry. I can't believe he left again. He didn't even wait for me. What was he like? He was a good friend. I didn't know much about his past. <laughs> you know, I don't even think he knew. He just told me that he had a daughter and everything he did was for her. I don't think I'll ever understand him. Your dad suffered from schizophrenia big time. He was picked up for roaming the streets, sometimes naked. On more than one occasion, we petitioned the authorities to let him stay here rather than be sentenced to prison. Simon was no criminal. He just had mental health issues. He looked happy. He was great, but he was taking his meds. Easy to get along with. I'm glad you came, Fern. He's still here, in a way. Where's his grave? There isn't one. Someone picked up his ashes from the mortuary before we could. <sighs> Gangrene. We need to talk, Dr. Gangrene. Fern? why we're here. No, what? Why did you lie? Well, Fernie asked me to. Oh, please, yeah, right. What would you have done, huh? What would you have done if I told you he was dead in the letter? Would you have come? No, you would have stayed right where you are. He wanted you to see all the things that he's built. He wanted you to get a glimpse. It wasn't fair. Don't tell me about fair. I live beneath a fucking bridge, Fern. Guess what, honey? Life isn't fair. Your father wanted you to see how he lived the last days of his life, and that's what he did. So you could put clues all over the city and just send us wandering around. What? Well, the masks, the medical bracelet, files. That was all you, right? Oh, that would be insane. Yeah. That would be insane. What is this? The ashes. You have them. No, I don't. Would you, would you just stop lying to us? You keep them in that yellow container. What are you talking about? I don't have his ashes. Yes, you do. Hey, what are you doing? No, no. Oh my God. No, no. I got it, Bird. Careful. Bird, take it. No. You broke my fucking butt! Burn! Don't! Burn! Thanks for all your help, Dr. Green. Don't, don't do that! Don't, please give it! It's all I got! It's all I got! I'm I hope place. everything works out for you. Don't! Burn! Burn! Burn is mine! Burn! 
I'm going to keep some of them. Here you lie, finally, in a permanent home. Well, sort of permanent. I hope you found the peace you've been searching for now. Rest in peace, Mr. Darby. I was kind of hoping you'd be some sort of millionaire with a big family, and then I could really hate him. But I just kind of feel bad for him now. Well, I think that's better than hating him. Hate's easier. Move in with me. You don't want that. I do. You can get a job, back on your feet. I don't know. I'm not asking you to sign a one-year lease with me, okay? It's just move in, we'll try it, and we'll see how it works, okay? Okay. Here's a cupboard for you to put your clothes in. Thanks. And actually, you know what? You could use the uh, closet as an art studio. Oh, yeah. That could work. We can move your stuff in tonight. Guys won't mind. And you know what, actually? We have a laundry machine that doesn't even need quarters. So, you know, no more laundromat. How's that sound? Her father is mentally ill and she, it seems, is mentally ill too, but I still love every moment spent with her. Okay, Fern, I was gonna tell you, I swear. Sometimes I envied her tough life, wrought with pain and struggle, mine being a prepackaged suburban nightmare of boredom. You used me. You used me too, you used me to find Simon. I didn't knock on your window that night. Okay, look. All they want is one more article from me. The ending. To this sad, sad tale. I'm not going to submit it. Why not? I shouldn't have done this in the first place, okay? You're right, they're a terrible company, and I, and I just wanted to impress them, okay? And it was just gonna be one article, but it ended up being another, and I hurt you. Please believe me when I tell you that if I could have raised every single word that I ever wrote, I would. I'm gonna go sleep in my hatchback. Fern, please. I've got a lot to digest. Tiger in the jungle, I know that you, you play well. And tiger in the jungle, Bird. that's me, your bangle chop. Tiger in the jungle, you ain't got everything. Hey, you see that?
looking for her. No, she left the store and it's ended. She's banned. Tiger in the jungle, you have made it this far, but Tiger in the jungle, I know who you are, and Tiger in the jungle, we'll have to wait and see, but Tiger for the moment, your secret's safe with me. Tiger in the jungle, from the street you stray. Tiger in the jungle, your teeth is burn a brain. The tiger in the jungle, you is not home free. The only thing chasing you is man, but man is me. Tiger in the jungle. You okay? I saw some kids doing some parkour earlier. It looks so fun. I looked up some YouTube videos on it and I wanted to try it. But I didn't want to do it alone. I think you need to take a break, man. It's starting to scare the neighbors. Yeah, the lady next door thinks you're peeping on her. I told her you're doing a crime watch for the neighborhood. So, what do you say? Want to go do some urban running before you get put on the sexual predator's watch list? Where could she have gone? Anywhere. She could li literally be anywhere in the continental United States. Well, you did know what you were getting yourself into. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry I, sorry I called you a drunk. Okay. Don't. I deserved it. I've got a therapist now. Seriously? Really? Yeah. Fareed suggested it. You know that Fareed guy? He's pretty smart. Sean again. Hey, now you can finish your story. I've actually been avoiding them. What? Are you crazy? Dude, she abandoned you. She just left without saying a word. It's all my fault. You did help her out a lot. You know, maybe she left to help you finish your story. You really think so? Yeah, man. Now go finish it. Hi, Wyatt. Hey. You know what happens when you phone? I was worried sick. I've been kind of busy. Did you find Pops yet, or what? Yeah, I found Pops. Brilliant. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So let me guess, he is a, he's a circus performer. He's dead. Oh, come on. That's no fun. Let's do this. Let's uh, twist it up a little bit so that he... Wow, this is a really big spot you've got here. Let's twist it up a little bit so that he is a uh, cult leader. No longer dead. No, I don't, I don't think I'm going to do that at all. What do you mean? He can't just be dead. 
Sean, I'm not broadcasting her life anymore, okay? Are you serious? Yeah. I'm done. Come on, man. Seriously. The advertisers love it. I don't care what the advertisers like, okay? I'm, I'm done. Are you fucking kidding me? After everything I've fucking done for you? You haven't done squat for me, Sean. I'm done. Look at me. You're never going to amount to anything. Do you know why? Because you're worthless human trash. Hey, Bill. Welcome back. Brought you uh, a gift. You look good. Thank you. Just wanted to stop by and show you this. Shady Acres Ranch. Rehabilitating mind, body, and soul. You wrote this? Yeah, I did. This is amazing. It's uh, newsstands all over the town, so you should get some donors. Thanks so much, Wyatt. Thank you for this. It's my pleasure. Anyway, I gotta go. Just thought I'd let you see. Wait. You're going up to the hill again. I sense a green flash tonight. You say that every time you come by here. Gotta be right one of these days. Let me know when that day comes. Additionally, Bye.
Newspaper red, God bless, God bless, God bless.